Disclaimer. I have not been paid by Teslon or told what to say, but I did receive this inspection camera for free to review on my channel. My thoughts will always be my own, and if there is something I don't like, I will mention it. My reviews will always be honest and never influenced by anyone. One inspection camera, one five meter dual lens camera, USB charging lead, and two very handy clip on devices for retrieving stuff. One little hook that will lock onto the end of the camera, and one magnetic one. I'm sure these will come in very handy. Teslon Professional Inspection Camera NTS430 4.3 IPS screen dual lens HD 1080p HD semi-rigid cable that is your USB charging port and that is where your U um, that is your USB charging port and that is your SD card for recording and taking pictures Mine didn't come with any SD card. I'm not sure if yours will. It's available on Amazon. Link in my description. When connecting the camera, it is a little groove on the top, as you can see. That goes on top, so the pins line up or also it is a nice little light that is very handy and now the pins are lined up perfectly Hold the power button for a few seconds until you see the Teslong logo. And now we have the camera. Picture quality is very good. If you want to switch between the main camera and the side camera, press and hold that button. Now we are on the side camera. And if you want dual screen, press and hold it again. And now we have the main camera and the side camera. Press and hold the button again to go back to your main camera. If you press that button quickly, it will take you to your recordings, but as you can see, I don't have an SD card. Your menu button for your settings. There we have resolution. Language settings. Data tag. Audio recording. Sound. Time settings. Auto power off format for your SD card, reset system, storage space and version. Click OK. That will take you into the menu where you can select what resolution you want. I'll leave mine on 1080. Language settings. Obviously I'm not going to mess around with this but there is different languages for you to use. Data tag, 
on or off audio recorder on or off sound on or off time settings this is where you obviously adjust the date and time press to confirm auto power off off one minute five minutes I leave it off format that would be if you had an SD card or TF card I should say I don't have one so reset system storage space don't have any That flicks your side camera. The overall build quality is good for the price, the price range. And the picture quality is very good. It has two high definition cameras mounted on the front and the sides. If you press that button by there, that brings up the LED lights on the side. And also and also does the same for your main camera the lead is quite the lead is flexible but stiff enough so you can negotiate it around bends etc And that's the view from behind my cabinet. That's the second camera view. But you could see how handy this tool would be for checking for leaking pipes. Or if you do engine repairs to see if there's any scores in the cylinder etc. Picture quality is very good. If you have any questions please pop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them.